Alrighty guys, how's it going? Everybody here, hope everyone's having a good day. We are back! Uh, we're back and we're gonna end it. Really quick, if you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you're watching this live on Twitch, don't forget to clip anything you find funny or interesting. It all helps the channel and I greatly, greatly appreciate it. Now, with our game, we are going right at it. We kind of only have one thing left to do. Doesn't mean it's going to be easy, but we only have one thing left to do. Uh, it actually wouldn't be a bad idea at this point. Let's kind of just do this. Really, I have no other use for this stuff. Cheating! How's it cheating? This is the loot that I've gathered that I just haven't used. <laughs> oh, goddammit. How you doing, by the way, zombie? Might as well use everything we have left, you know? We just see feet. <laughs> Doing great. <laughs> That's good to hear. I'm glad you're doing good. <laughs> now, I don't know. Consuming it. Frampton's only gonna give us like four thousand for it. We get more if we just consume the soul. Ah, darn it! I meant to consume that. Right. Might as well just do that and get as much more damage as we can get. Alright, let's do this. I am pleased to see you well. Are you there? Is it something urgent? Ah. Yeah, someone clipped my feet for free. Damn, bro, you're not supposed to give that up for free. <laughs> Still cheating. <laughs> Offer Lord Souls to the vessel. Now before we fight Gwen, I do kind of want to explore the area a bit. Then we'll come back here and do like a kind of reset and run. Because there is still loot in this area, sort of. And here we go. 
This is the kiln. Place of the great flame. Bring it. Bring it, you jerk. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just gonna look for loot first time around, and then we'll go back, reset our spells, and then just make a dash for it. Ooh, that hurt. Oh, okay. Okay. Or orb is not super effective against them. Which kind of makes sense of it. Hmm. I don't think there's anything in the sand. I do believe there's stuff over there. Oh, I didn't even see you there. Uh-uh. 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 I am not fighting you on there. You need to back up. I said back up. How did that miss? I think I saw something over there. Let's go get that. Black Knight gear. The Black Knights are interesting. They're actually the same as the Silver Knights. It's just that since they came here with Gwyn... The Black Knights are the Silver Knights. They're the remnants of the Silver Knights that came with Gwyn to reignite the flame and the, when the flame got reignited they were basically burned to a crisp to the point that their armor became charred and they became the black knights that's that's really what they are they're not actual like silver knights i mean they're not actual like black knights they're they're the same silver knights that we were basically fighting in, in orlando They're just dirty. Yeah, you could say that. <laughs> I would have gone with uh, well done, but yeah, you could say that. Alright, let's go back. We will... That was apparently all the loot that's in there. Um, there's also one more thing I want to do here. Which might or might not be worth it. But why not? Do we have this as a teleport? We do not. How funny.
That's so weird that that is not a teleport point. Teleport points in this game are very strange. In the second game and third game, like, all the bonfires are teleport points, so... That's kind of nice, but let's go to the Daughter of Chaos real quick, because we want to use our souls to upgrade our Pyromancy Flame. I might bring the Chaos Fireball with us. Just maybe. Or the Fire Whip. I forgot to check on that. Take a look here. It's a double. How effective is that Dell, really? It's an 80 use? It's probably not very effective. Maybe? I have to see it. I need to see it on something. Um, what would make a good test? Crystal cave? What's the crystal cave? I think that's the Duke's archives. Actually, no, that wouldn't be a good test. Wouldn't be a good test, mainly because of the fact that... Only because of the fact that, like, uh... Those guys... Toasty Knights. <laughs> Actually, the Toasty Knights might be a good test. Uh, I just don't know if I'll be able to go back to the thing once I move forward. Uh, one second, guys. Uh, alright, I'm back. Sorry about that. Township dungeon. Maybe? That's the DLC. Is this where I think it is? Yeah, this is here. Uh, close enough though, but not exactly where we want to go. Let's try... Ah, screw it. I'm, I'm overthinking this. We're gonna test this on uh, the Silver Knights. So be it. I, I just want to see what the damage output on it is. It looks like it has a fast cast, which is nice. But what's the damage output on it? That's the real question. Make sure we set that up as our, if we die, a respawn area. We know that our crystal stuff was doing like about 800 damage. Let's see what this does. Mm. Oh. Mm. 
Yeah, that's kind of it. Okay. Yeah, that's not really worth. Yeah, Pyromancy just doesn't feel great in this game. The Soul Spears are just stronger, and so is the Dark Orbs. Dark Magic and the Soul Spears, the Soul Magic just is so much better. And the Crystal Magic is just top tier. Um, that being said, I would like to try this, because this is supposed to be hella powerful. Especially now with all the upgrades we put on it. Let's test this out. Because we might take this one into battle with us. Although, I feel like I'm putting too much thought into this because there's a good chance that he's not going to be as tanky as the DLC bosses and uh, we might kill him with like four to five spells. Getting those four to five spells to hit him was going to be a different story because he is also like literally the hardest boss in the whole in the game. It's better than the group, but it's not tremendously better, if I can be honest with you. Oh, that's bad. Oh Let's try. Good up, good up. It's better. I, we'll hold on to that one. Because that technically combined damage is hit for 500 plus, so... It's decent, it's decent. And that's not a maxed out Pyromancy hand either, it's nearly maxed out. So it's still not super impressive, but it's okay, I guess. It still doesn't compare with my Soul Spears and Crystal Soul Spear. Those things hit way better. Alright. Let's... We'll start with these. I have a feeling I won't be needing these against Gwen. Because I have a feeling we're going to have to kind of fight our way. I don't know if I'll be able to just run past these guys, especially the one on the bridge. That's a really good great sword, actually. One of the best great swords in the game. I'm telling you in the wrong neighborhood, Nervo. I'm making it my neighborhood. <laughs> Taking over. <laughs> How you doing, Chad? Slept. Oof. It's funny how like sleep is good, but then it can be very bad. <laughs> I miss sleep. I'll be honest with you. Oh, that changes once you have a kid. feel as though the dark orbs right now are my second weakest spell, so we'll go ahead and use that on these guys. 
That is terrible. We will not be using that on you. Um. All right, screw it. We'll use these. You know, that's stronger than I thought it would be. Might actually use that against Gwen. We'll see how effective that is against him. Because he doesn't really have anything to block. He doesn't have like a shield or anything like that, so. Might be a good stride against him. Okay, but if you do fish like that. Oh no! Don't do it. Oh, oh, win! Win! Easy, easy, bro. Oh, you always wait for it. You're so mean. That was a mistake. Damn it. Oh. I had a feeling. So, our damage is good against the win. Uh, oops, forgot to do one of these. Our damage is good against the win. The problem. which is what we're going to struggle with now, is his aggressiveness. Because he has a similar setup as Ar 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 Artorius, which is basically his attacks are erratic, they're not consistent, and he is aggressive. So we don't know when he will be attacking us, we don't know how he's going to attack us, he doesn't really have a pattern either, he just can pull out anything at any point in time. We have to just make judgment calls on when would be the right time to do certain things. I'm going to try to just run past these guys. I really don't want to have to deal with them every single time. Of course, this is going to probably be a bad idea, but we'll see how far we can get. Le gasp. Yeah, very le gasp. Gwen is the hardest boss in the game outside of the DLCs. There is no boss in this entire game that's like Gwen. Uh, and then they came out with a DLC and he kind of is similar in style as Artorius. Uh, because they're both very erratic, very aggressive, quick moving uh, types. The difference is Artorius might be stronger than him, just because like the DLC bosses are a little, a little bit more tankier and have a bit more resistance to damages. Not cool. Not cool, bro. That was good damage on both of us, apparently. Oh, he still hit me. Oh, that was bad. That hurt. Come on, easy, easy there, buddy. Let me breathe, let me breathe, just a little bit. I should have expected better. Should have known he would have done something like that.
Oh, that's sad. That was stupid. Oh, we got him! <laughs> Two tries! <laughs> yeah, Artorius is significantly harder. DLC bosses are significantly harder. And mostly because they're more tankier than him. Like, we could not do that kind of 800 damage in one shot with any of our spells on Artorius. At most, we were doing 400, I believe. That greed. It paid off, though. <laughs> Sometimes greed is good. And unfortunately, we got the same ending as last time. Because uh, I messed up. But that's okay. When we get 750 followers, we will do the crowd control where you guys can torture me. And I will go for the other ending. But we we'll reignite the flame. We we'll link the fire. Reigniting it. And continuing the age of the gods. Falling for the trap of the gods. To continue their age. That was actually... <laughs> I honestly didn't think we were going to beat it in 30 minutes. <laughs> I really was expecting to be here for like an hour. <laughs> oh man. Now what are we going to do? <laughs> um, I always have a final thoughts at the end of these games. Although I've already played this game. So, I guess my final thoughts is, uh, still the same. This is still an amazing game. It still holds up. It's still great. I love everything about this game. I do not like spellcasting, though. I have learned. <laughs> this is the second time I've tried to be a spellcaster in Dark Souls, and I have learned that it is just not for me. I like my melee builds. They are just more fun for me, in my opinion, and... They tend to screw me less. <laughs> so, yes. Uh, I think the next time we do a Dark Souls game, I will make sure to be melee. <laughs> um, and yeah. It's great. This is a great game. If you haven't played it yet, I mean, what are you waiting for? <laughs> should definitely do a run. Enjoy the torture that comes with it. We... Uh, I had this off, whoops. Uh, it was counting though, which is nice. Uh, we, I believe, did better, technically? I don't think that's because of the build though. Yes, there are certain bosses that were much easier. Uh, because of the build? But, I don't think... That that is why we did better. Um, I think the reason why we did better is because I just had the knowledge of the bosses. Like, I knew what I was getting into. I knew what to kind of expect. We also finished in a lot less episodes. The last time we did this... It, was, it took 45 hours to beat the game? I think we did it in less time. I'll have to look at it, but... I do believe we did it in roughly less time than we did it this time around. It might have took us like... Let me see here. Ah, uh, maybe not. Maybe it took us around the same time. Might not have done it any faster. Yeah, I have to double check. But it took us 45 hours to beat it the first time around. And we had a total of 273 deaths. This time around was 257. And possibly less time too. I don't think we did 45 hours. I 
to see what we're gonna do now. I did not expect to do that in 30 minutes. I was really expecting to spend at least an hour on that alone. <laughs> I would have just done it last night if I. <laughs> Thank you, Vader. Yeah, the next time, the next time we do a Souls game, we're definitely going melee though. Fluff magic. It's I, I I'm just not a fan. You have anything planned? Not really, zombie. <laughs> Not at all. I was totally expecting to be at least an hour to two hours because like when is not an easy fight Even though I made that look really easy in like two tries <laughs> But again, this is what I mean like my knowledge of having experienced fighting him before is I think what helped me there because I I remembered this after dying that first time that like I can use the pillars to kind of block his path so that I can heal up this is not yes post credits indeed. just so you know the dark sign brand this is the new undead. game plus when you beat the game and kill gwen it automatically throws you into new game plus so this is literally and the in intro this to land, the undead are corralled and led to the north Where they are locked away to await the end of the world. I'm gonna have to look at what we have to do now. <laughs> I'm sure I could find something. Is your fate. I really can't believe we did that in like 30 minutes. You're a pro gamer, not at all. <laughs> this is just the easiest one out of all of them. That's why, like I said, if I do, I, I, I'm not a fan of the idea of uh, crowd control. But that's exactly why I said that. Like, if I do crowd control, I'll do this one first because this is the easier one out of all all the Souls games. Oof. Like, I'm I'm afraid to do like Dark Souls two and three with with crowd control. It 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 scares me very much. Uh, let's.